Good morning, everybody. It is uh, Friday, September 23rd, 2016, and yesterday some great news came out. Uh, the federal lawsuit against Attorney General for Massachusetts, Maura Healey, is officially filed. Um, I'm going to read you an excerpt from it. I will have this press release in the description as well as a link to the lawsuit itself so you can read the 22-page filing. But what is... Uh, hopefully going to be good news, is based off of this right here. Uh, it says, four federally licensed Massachusetts firearms re retailers and the National Shooting Sports Foundation, the NSSF, uh, have uh, filed an action in the United States District Court for the District of Massachusetts to challenge the constitutional grounds uh, of the enforcement notice issued by Attorney General Mara Healey. Um, the four FFLs uh, that are launching suit are Pullman Arms. They're in Worcester. Thank you, gentlemen. Uh, Guns and Gear, LLC out of Agawam, thank you as well. Paper City Firearms in Holyoke, much appreciated. And Gur Gear out of Orange, Massachusetts. Thank you all for uh, stepping forward in our state's time of need. That says, uh, I'm going to give you the quote here. It says, Attorney General Mara Healy's actions were unconstitutional. Firearms retailers in Massachusetts cannot determine the meaning or scope of the Attorney General's enforcement notice and subsequent explanations. Um, because criminal penalties can result due to Attorney General Healy's un, uh, unilateral reinterpretation of the state statute done without administrative process or input from affected parties, her office exceeded its lawful authority and retailers were deprived of their due process protections under the 5th and the 14th Amendments. In addition, but wait, there's more. Uh, in addition, if the Attorney General's enforcement notice is understood as applying to all semi-automatic firearms... It violates the Second and Fourteenth Amendments to keep and bear arms because it bans the manufacturer, sale, and possession of a broad range of firearms in common use by the citizens of Massachusetts. And it says, unfortunately, Attorney General's unconstitutional action has left, left us no other option than to seek relief from the courts. Thank you. From one patriot to another, I thank you so much. Uh, to anybody on my channel, I want to remind you, that these people are going to battle for us in court on our behalf. And it's costing money. Lots of money. I'm going to put a link floating right here to my previous video that has information about my GoFundMe page. This GoFundMe campaign, first I've ever set up, all of the funds minus the cut that GoFundMe takes will go to these agencies on the ground fighting for us. I have uh, the first withdrawal set up for October 1st. And I am very thankful for those who have donated. It's like $630 right now, I believe, not looking at it. And then uh, they take a cut, so it's probably going to be like $590 something and change. Goes without saying that they can use every penny they can get. If you don't live in Massachusetts and you want to help, please donate utilizing this GoFundMe page. I don't keep a nickel of it. It's all going to those fighting for our Second Amendment. If you live in Massachusetts... You should be a, a member of Goal. If you're not, do it. It costs 25 bucks or 30 bucks for the year. It's cheap money. Helps them do this, what they're doing right now. If you're not a member of Com2A, do it. They're the ones who are helping in the background as well. Uh, there are uh, obviously a lot of costs involved in this. I want to thank you for those who have donated and given your money, hard-earned money. I thank you. The citizens of Massachusetts, thank you. And the citizens of America, thank you. Because it's going to be actions like this, if it's successful, that save America. Thank you all. Until the next time, be safe, stay vigilant, carry your weapon, and the links are in the description. Please read them. Take care.